Hi everyone. Well, I thought I'd tip you off that there's a new toxic sweetener out there and it's called Neotame. Well, I'd never heard of Neotame before, so I googled it. And promptly up came some articles saying it might be a neurotoxin. According to Monsanto spokesperson Nancy Nevin, Neotame compositionally begins with aspartame, but through a simple enhancement to the dipeptide base, she says, it then becomes 40 times sweeter. So basically it starts out as aspartame and then they do more weird chemical stuff to it. I even found the unofficial history of Neotame. Well apparently what happened was some guy who used to work for Monsanto was doing experiments at a secret military underground base on a new chemical weapon called Neotox and for some reason he tasted it and it turned out that it was really sweet so they decided to make it into something that you put in your food. It's just because it's cheaper. And also it will kill you. Well, this new Neotame so alarmed Dr. Betty Martini, who's been a long time anti-aspartame activist, that she penned an open letter to uh, FDA Commissioner Dr. Jane Henney, highlighting all the evidence that aspartame is a deadly toxin and that it causes brain tumors and neurological problems and, and a whole bunch of other nasty things. Also, birth defects, blindness, infertility, and miscarriage. And she basically pleaded with the FDA to recall aspartame and not approve neotame. She even specifically refers to a few studies that have showed the toxic effect of aspartame. Here's one. Monsanto fu funded a study on birth defects, which was disastrous, so they withdrew their funding and Dr. Diana Dow Edwards had to pay for it herself. Then neither Monsanto nor the FDA would accept it. Quite a message to the world, if a researcher will say it is not safe, the study will not be accepted. And here's another one. A pivotal study submitted was done on seven infant monkeys. Five had grand mal seizures and one died. According to HolisticMed.com, even Monsanto's own pre-approval studies of Neotame revealed adverse reactions. Unfortunately, Monsanto only conducted a few one-day studies in humans rather than encouraging independent researchers to obtain NIH funding to conduct long-term human studies on the effects of Neotame. They only did one-day studies. Okay, everybody already knows that aspartame is poisonous. It causes all kinds of adverse reactions. There have been no long-term safety studies done on Neotame, and the ones that have been done have shown it to be toxic and cause adverse effects and still it's in it's already in over a thousand foods if you go to the neotame website you'll see it says here fda approval announcement july 9 2002 the u.s fda announced its general use approval of neotame as a sweetener and flavor enhancer this website refers to it as an exciting new flavor enhancer and i bet it is exciting because it's an excitotoxin and it's probably especially exciting to people who would like to reduce the population and make whoever's left over sick so they can profit off it. Here's some of the nonsense that um, the makers of Neotame will tell you on their website. A balanced diet including a variety of foods is the foundation of healthful eating. True enough. As part of a balanced diet, Neotame provides a little sweetness without adding calories. Uh, since when is a chemical weapon part of a balanced diet? Okay, the makers of Neotame say that it's safe for diabetics, even though aspartame has been shown to cause blindness in diabetics. And they even go on to proclaim that it's safe for children and pregnant women. And here's what they say. People of all ages, including pregnant or breastfeeding women, teens and children, and people with diabetes, can enjoy products sweetened with Neotame while maintaining a healthful diet. Well, that's a bit like saying, you know, people can enjoy crystal meth while maintaining a healthful diet. I mean, it's not exactly untrue, but, you know, it doesn't change the fact that crystal meth will kill you. So I imagine that by now you've probably made the decision to avoid Neotame. But here's the problem, that because of labeling laws, if it's under 5% of the product's ingredient, it could be listed as natural flavors, like MSG and aspartame and things like that. The other day I went to the grocery store and I was looking at some Chinese um, sauces, like stir-fry sauces that I don't actually use, but I was, I was looking at them because I used to use them. 
and I was looking at the ingredients and I noticed it didn't say MSG, but it did say natural flavors. Now I know that they have MSG in there, they used to list it, but now they just call it natural flavors. So if you're buying something, you really don't know what's in it anymore, do you? So I think it's pretty safe to say that the best policy would be to avoid pre-made and pre-packaged foods altogether because you really don't know what's in them and you could be eating Neotox, I mean Neotame and I'd be willing to bet that Neotame will kill you. Well I gotta say though that it's getting really hard to you know eat well. I mean today I went to the, the grocery store and there was a cucumber selling for two dollars and seventy nine cents. How can a cucumber be worth two dollars and seventy nine cents? But I bet that most of that two dollars and seventy nine cents goes to pay the salary and the bonuses of the the CEO of the the cucumber corporation. Well, thanks for listening to me, and I'll see you next time.